Hello everyone and welcome to Near Automata, a game that I know nothing about except its reputation. This is one of the three games that I wanted to play completely blind for the channel this year, and I think I've saved the best for last. I mean, I, at least I say that. This game has a really good reputation among those that seem to like the same games that I do, like Final Fantasy and Persona and Dragon Quest, so I have really high hopes from it, even though I have no idea what to expect from it. I mean, I guess I have high expectations, and yet I don't know what to expect, if that makes any sense at all. Well, I guess I can't expect that it doesn't have any autosave, good to know. And I guess we'll just go ahead and jump into a new file here. Let's do it. And a username, huh? Okay, well... My username will be Virgo, not gonna give you the long version there. We'll go ahead and keep the shorthand for right now. And difficulty, well... Apparently it can be changed in-game, so I'm not locked to whatever I pick here at the top. Um... I guess we'll just go with the, the regular normal. I mean, it worked out for Spider-Man <laughs> earlier this year, so hopefully this isn't some balls to the wall, just kick me while I'm down type of game. And yeah, I guess let's go. I guess I can do a little overview of the settings before we go in. Eh, you know, let's go, let's go ahead and wait until I actually play the game a bit, and then maybe we'll want to mess around with the settings then, but... Okay, let's go. Man, I, I'm really excited. It's not often that I go into a game that I think I'm really gonna like, and yet I Everything don't know what's gonna happen, really. To end. Oh. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. Yorha Squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. Twelve H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Oh, and we're going. Well, this is not confirmed. how I expected this to start. I thought this was kind of like a platinum games beat 'em up type of thing, but I'm starting in a ship. Okay. And yeah, we're going down like flies. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. And we fire like this. Oh, look at this. Well, this is more of a shoot em up than it is a beat em up. Well, wow. and it looks down. like I can just fire like crazy. Okay, and evade like this. Okay. Can I do this? Nope, it has to be R1 and R2. Unfortunately. Oh, okay, okay. Guess I can't destroy those. And so we just shoot him down. Can you guys get out of the way of the lasers? My god! It's telegraphed really well. What is wrong with you? And yeah, that was the captain, too. Jeez. Well, I guess I'm the captain now. Look at that. Okay, and a heavy attack with triangle? Not doing a whole lot, it looks like. That looks more like a defensive maneuver than an actual offensive attack type of one. Oh god, is this gonna be some kind of bullet hell? Oh, no, 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 no. I... Oh... I do not deal with bullet hell, man. I mean, this is pretty tame. I've dealt with worse, but man, oh man, do I Multiple not like bullet hell. Enemy air unit confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. It's beautiful music, though. Firing direct? What? What on earth? Okay, so now I can actually destroy these things. I, I, okay, well, I, I guess I had a few expectations as to, like, the genre I was playing, but th this was not one of them. <laughs> okay, I mean, it controls really well, though. I mean, I had played far worse shoot 'em up bullet hells before. That much is for sure. It looks like if I don't take him down lickety split, those lasers get out the way! Oh. And then there was one. Okay, then. Operator 60. All allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. 
Uh, operator to 2B. We need you to rendezvous with Unit 9S and begin gathering data on the local terrain. Understood. This must be the famous 2B. Yeah, I know about her. Um, <clears throat> I think if you're on the internet, you know about 2B. But hey, we can get to that later, right? Okay, but what am I doing? I guess I'm the lone survivor of this mission. God, I, I'm getting like Death Star flashbacks here. Like, oh my god. Okay, okay, this is, this is a little fast. Thought I'd be eased into this a little bit more. Now we're going 2D, huh? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, I just... Man, this is, this is kind of throwing me for a loop. I mean, I'm not really complaining. Again, this is kind of... Could be more kind of about the, uh, the journey. Uh, that I'm experiencing, you know? I guess that's kind of what I want this game to be after... You know, all that I've kind of, uh... All that I've kind of heard about it and, you know, the reputation it has, but... Man, oh man, was I not expecting this? I know, I sound like a broken record. Wow. And I guess I can level up from that, okay. So am I just doing this solo? I was supposed to have like a whole freaking fleet to do this. Okay, okay, stop it, stop it. Okay, what do I use? Okay, so this... Okay, so I can actually use this now. It's like a melee attack, and I can't like spam it like the gun. Okay. And it looks like this can destroy the orbs that the gun cannot, okay. Nice little dynamic there. Oh, it actually destroys all orbs, okay. So the strong attack, or I guess I'll just call it the melee attack, is indeed superior to... Oh, jeez. To, okay, what is this? Is superior to the gun. Oh, well, whatever it is, it's got quite the health bar, and it's a level two. Okay, what? What am I doing here? It looks like I'm not really hurting it. Okay. Oh, I have to do damage to the turrets on the side. Okay. They don't really seem to have a health bar though, and now I can get the middle one. And oh, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Almost halfway down on my health too. Like, man. There she is. Activating short range attack gear. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. And here we go. This was the combat I was expecting a little bit more of, okay. Light attack with square, okay. Looks like we got some basic foot soldiers. Yeah, this is what I was expecting, all right. And then the heavy attack with triangle, very Bayonetta-esque, yeah. I guess that's the one comparison that you know is the most cliche to make, but seeing as I've already played both Bayonetta games for the channel, I mean, I know, what else was I going to think about, you know? And fire. Oh, I got a little gun buddy here, okay. Let's see, looks like he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately, okay. I can still slash out the orbs. I think taking the orbs down with the light attack will be most beneficial, seeing as it only takes one hit to take them down. And as per usual with me in these games, I usually find a lot more utility in the light attack, just because I prefer the quickness. I guess when there's one, that's when the heavy attack can actually shine, though. Okay, well I guess whenever uh, we need long range, that little gun guy will- Oh, what is this? Stay back. It'll actually be helpful. And it looks, yeah, yeah, just sniping it from afar, I can, like, do, oh, and evade with R2. Okay, there we go. Well, we got the whole Bayonetta suite of attacks now. Enemies destroyed. Not I've right. seen more intimidating robots before. What is that? Is that a buzzsaw? Warning, okay. Oh, what is that? Just has some weird- oh gosh! Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this button being the dodge. I hope I can change the dodge button to like the, the circle. Because that's what I'm gonna be used to. Okay. I don't- can I just go up and hit this? I, I guess I can. Um, I don't quite know- okay, I can double jump it looks like. Get on that, get on that. Okay, get out the way. Get out the way. God, our health is really bad, how do I heal? Like, I'm just now noticing- I don't think I've gotten a single heal this entire time. Okay, and it stops, so now we can go up and slash it a bit. And I can't really tell if that's incredible damage or not. Don't think it matters. Oh! Okay, look! Oh, crap! Wow, that did damage! Holy crap! Oh, I gotta heal, though, somehow. Small recovery used, remaining 14. Okay, so those, like, auto potions that I have? Or something like that? Oh, we got these little orbs coming at us again. Pod program. What is going on here, man? I have no clue. I guess I'm just along for the ride. Yeah, we've got the orbs coming at us. Can I shoot them down? Looks like I can. Oh! 
Use pod program. Okay, L1. Is that what the pod program was? I guess so. Okay. I have many questions, but I guess all will be revealed. Oh, man, I, I keep pushing the circle button trying to dodge. Just my Bayonetta instincts coming back in full force here. Okay, let's see if I can... Ah, too slow. But I mean, the turret, actually, you know, if you just keep it, like, trained on the guy, I guess six continual damage isn't all that bad. Oh, that was even like a witch time dodge. Okay, nice. I think we almost have it, though. We're, I'm just gonna call it the buzzsaw enemy. I, I don't know what those symbols mean. Okay, I think I got a good strategy here. Okay, get out the way again. Okay, let's see if I can... I think this is about as fast as I can go. Up here, try it. Maybe heavy attacks? Well, it makes sense that those would do the most amount of damage, although it doesn't, su it doesn't seem to be a significant amount regardless. Okay. Let's see if I can finish it off. Okay, there we go. Nice little intro, boss. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. Okay, what's with the blindfolds? You I've always wondered about right? the blindfolds. My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. Oh, so he gets the cool mech and I have to take it on foot, huh? Okay, well, I suppose I can make them work. Well, let me go ahead and take in everything, man. I don't really want to miss anything. Let me go ahead and maybe play around with the menu a bit here, too. The system of menu allows you to check intel, change gear, adjust settings, and more. Tutorial messages like this one could be accessed at any time. Nice. Well, okay, we got a map. It kind of speaks for itself. Quests, I guess, for, like, main quests and side quests, as this is an RPG. Our items. Okay, what type of restorative items do I have? Yeah, okay. I got all of these recoveries. And I guess it uses these automatically, so that's pretty great. Weapon selection. Pretty sure I just have one. Skill selection. Whatever that means. Intel. Okay, it doesn't seem to be uh, all too complicated. Don't think I'm missing anything. Wow, this game is very nice, man. Is this 60 frames? I think it might be, actually. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty incredible. Because, I mean, this game is about three years old at this point, I want to say. Which led me to think, you know, am I, like, a little late in playing this? But, hey, better late than never for a game that... What? Oh, just fire? Oh, to take that down. Oh, well, as I was saying, no better late than never for a game that is supposedly, you know, just pretty good across the board. I think, like, every critical review of this... Well, it's pretty fantastic, and then everything I've heard about it from pretty much everyone also thinks it's pretty freaking awesome, so... Okay. You know, that reminds me, what I wanted to do is actually go to System. And I wanted to see what I can do about controls if I can change that dodge to, like... Yeah, let's go to Custom here. Let's see if I can change... Evade... Uh, to... Circle. Yeah, yeah, sorry that I have to do this, but th this is just my Bayonetta instincts just... Kinda coming in full force here. Um, so I don't have action anymore? Okay, I guess I'll just put action on this one. For whatever action means, I don't know what that means yet. Okay, boring stuff out of the way, let's get back to the... Get back to the good stuff, please. Here we go, okay, now this is gonna feel like something I'm a tad bit more used to. And hopefully I'm not terrible at the game, because, you know, I am a Bayonetta veteran at this point. And I think I did pretty good at those games, you know, pretty far into it, once I had, uh, gotten a good amount of experience under my belt. Okay, so now what? What do we have here? So that must be like our action button. Okay, copper ore! Ah, oh, man, is that gonna be for some kind of crafting system? I'm not ready for another JRPG crafting system. Okay, where am I going, though? We don't have, like, a mini-map. I'm guessing over here, maybe. Yeah, this looks like this might be the way. Have to catch up to our friend, uh, what's-his-face? I don't remember. Oh, take you down. Whoa. Take this out again, there we go. Okay, well, yeah, you guys aren't so tough. And with you, I can just kind of snipe you from afar. Looks like they are gonna chase after me, though. I can get in a few pot shots before that is gonna be all she wrote for these guys. I mean, these still are just the base foot soldiers, man. Like, they can't be all that tough. Whoa, where are these coming from? I mean, I'm really liking this turret. Looks like it could be offensive and then defensive in nature as well, like we're seeing right here. Okay, maybe some heavy attacks whenever they're all grouped up like this. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, look at that! Okay. Very Bayonetta-like. I, I, I'm gonna quit saying that, like I promise, but <laughs> it just reminds me so much of it in a very good way. You know, she's not as- uh, 2B is not as snappy as Bayonetta, but it can't be, you know, the exact same. And you know, 2B, like, 
Okay, let's just get this out of the way. Why is there so much porn of this poor girl on the internet? I do not understand. Like, the design, like, it's not unattractive, but this is not what I think of when I think of, like, uh, an incredibly vulturous I design, you know? Map data I collected earlier. Do it. There we go, now we got the mini-map. I mean, you know, let's, let's do a little experiment right here. We have girl number A, girl number B, and girl number C. Now, pick which one do you think has, like, the most pornographic parody slash whatever you want to call it on the internet for, like, the past five years, or the past three years since this game has been out. I mean, would you have guessed uh, number B? Like, I wouldn't have. Like, I, I just kind of... It's just all kind of bizarre to me, to be brutally honest. I don't understand it. I mean, I get, you know, she's an android, right? You know, so maybe that kind of feeds into it, but man, it is just so, so very confusing to me. But okay, you know, I just wanted to get that off my chest. You know what everyone was thinking? You know, elephant in the room has been addressed, so we can just stop right now, okay? So, let's, I'm glad I got that out of the way. Just had, had to address that. But also, we're doing combat in, like, 2D now. Okay. Oh, this looks like a secret. Can I jump over here? Yes, I can! Okay, maybe this is where I wanted to go. Um, oh, a treasure chest! Nice, go off the beaten path and get a treasure chest, I like that one. And it's a large recovery, okay. Now, is this where I want to go, is the main question. Um, this looks like something I can mess with. And that's gonna lower that, okay, but it looks like there could have been something over here as well. What can I do here? Ah, nice little shortcut if I ever want to come back here, okay, okay, okay. Well, let's go ahead and just follow this path right now. I'm guessing, you know, I'm probably going the wrong way, to be honest. I think I want to go towards that point on my map. And yeah, I'm all the way back down here now. Isn't this where I started? Yeah, it's exactly where I started. So, I guess that I am just kind of going around in circles now. What is this, though? I missed this the first time. Dented plate, another synthesis material, if I had to guess. Yeah, I'm just going to call it synthesis material, you know. Kingdom Hearts Junkie right here, it's been grilled into me since a young age. And this must be stuff that drops from enemies and I've just been ignoring it. I need to make sure to be on the lookout for stuff like that. No detours this time, let's keep climbing up the tower, unless I see something down here that is just impossible to let well enough be alone. Okay, another small recovery, so I mean, I, I suppose that that was worth going out of my way. Is there like a sprint I can do? Does that seem to be the case, but looks like we got combat down here anyway. Okay, and I think the gun's gonna be more effective in these 2D spaces just by nature of it being 2D, you know? It's gonna be far more effective just kind of by default. There we go, yeah, I didn't even have to get my swords out. Don't I have, like, twin katanas? Is that what that is? I mean, hey, like I said, Kingdom Hearts junkie right here. I, I'm down for some dual wielding. I've been a dual wielding degenerate since, like, what, 2006? Kingdom Hearts 2? Oh, I think this is where I wanted to go. Do I want to go in there? Or do I want to go over here? And see what the glowy is. What do we got here? Uh oh! Silver ore, huh? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot you. And you're just gonna fall like a dunce. Well, I know there's a level up system in this game. I think I'm like level 3, so I think I want to take you out. If possible. Wow, you got some defense. Okay. You're not going down nearly. Oh! Nearly as easily as the other level ones. Okay, can you, can you stop, please? Okay, there we go. I can actually get hits in. And okay, it looks like. I'm just gonna call it witch time, like, <laughs> if I dodge perfectly, I guess we get a little witch time right there. Get in some nice pot shot hits. Okay, with the little glowy out of the way, let's go ahead and... Okay, come on, don't fail in, like, the very easy platforming bits. You know, I've been playing Mario 3D All-Stars, and specifically Mario Sunshine in 64. You would think I would be better at platforming, especially after playing a rather antiquated game like Mario 64. Negative. Nearby enemies are jamming our signal. Nothing's ever easy. Yeah, I'm not expecting this game to be easy. I mean, if this opening has anything to say, I think it's gonna be the, the journey. Got this music? God, that's just like, I think that's like a choir just kicked in? Holy crap. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of like foreboding and kind of uncomfortable and disturbing, too. Like, ew, wow. Kind of like, kind of like tribalistic choirs. Oh, man. But just right off the bat here, wow, this the game does feel really, really good to play. Like, I'm really enjoying this. Is there a way to lock on Alla Kingdom Hearts? I mean, I'm just talking about every game franchise under the sun other than this one, but, you know, I have to use something as a point of reference. Yeah, man, the turn is just freaking awesome. Okay, can I... Okay, yeah, I can slash the sword and fire at the same time. Looks like my mobility might be compromised just a little bit whenever I'm firing, though, so... I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, are you the last one? 
Looks like it. No, God, why is there so much? Okay. Keep taking him down, keep taking him down. Okay. Still got hit with a pot shot right there. Yeah, I need to keep the turret going just to keep the orbs from completely swamping me and taking damage in the process. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I should just quick try to dodge into him and just use the gun to clear out a path and then just go in for the slashes. There we go. Okay, it looks like you're gonna be the last surviving one now. Okay. Are we good? Locate the Goliath class unit. That's what we're looking for, huh? Goliath class! That doesn't sound very friendly. You know, it sounds like the opposite of friendly. I'm glad you're here. Why? The scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. Alright then. To be it is. Mmm, emotions are not allowed. Uh, so it looks like they are emotional androids. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're androids. I mean, that's a common known fact, right? Like, these are androids. But I guess they're not like data from Star Trek. Like, they got the emotions, they're just forbidden. Okay, and we're in 2D yet again. Wow, I just... The variety in this game, just right off the bat, is kind of... And kind of incredible, you know, we've gone from like, shoot 'em up bullet hell, to 3D Bayonetta action platforming, or just like action games in general, then like a 2D platforming type of thing, so... Okay. Hope I'm not forgetting anything. Or I'm just missing anything, I should say. But I feel like we're gonna be able to come back here if... Uh, me creating shortcuts to go forward is any indication, so... Okay, watch it, watch it, holy crap, okay, stop it! Am I being, am I being ambushed? I think I'm being ambushed here. Yeah, this one over here. Yeah, this is a little awkward. Looks like it's not complete. Is it complete 2D? I cannot really tell. I know we're almost dead again, but... I need to be sure to get this. But I'm pretty sure I have plenty of healative items. Restorative items, so it does not really matter. I mean, there's another one on top of it all, so there we go. Yeah, what is this? This is some kind of factory. Like, they're building something, it looks like. Is it these little, these little droids? These little robots? What do you call these? Ow! Okay, okay, stop it, stop it. Yeah, it's using all these small recoveries automatically, so I think we're I think we're good. Okay, game's starting to step it up a little bit. Okay, no, 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 I'm taking you guys out first. I'm not going without taking care of all the insurgents, or I don't even know what to call these things. That'll be one. This will be two. Okay, gonna have to hit you with the gun, I guess. This will be two. And that'll be three. Don't fall down the pits. And there we go, yeah, no one is escaping 2B's grasp. But now elevator or large open room. Decisions, decisions.